Chapter 13. Author's note. Raven, thanks for gelping me uh, again. I'm sorry I talked your poster of Gerard, but that guy is such a fucking sex bomb. Perhaps stop flaming you. We will continue flaming you. I will admit, Gerard Way is extremely attractive, but really? Uh-huh. Call her on the phone. Don't, you know, post in a fan fiction. Yeah. Vampire and I ran up the stairs looking for Dumbledore. We were so scared. Dumbledore! Dumbledore! We both yelled. Dumbledore came there. What is it that you want now, you despicable snobs? He asked angrily. Voldemort has Draco, we shouted at the same time. He laughed in an evil voice. No, don't! We need to save Draco, we begged. No, he said meanly. I don't give a darn what Voldemort does to Draco. Not after how much he misbehaved in school, especially with you, Ebony, he said while he frowned, looking at me. Besides, I never liked him that much anyway. Then he walked away. The vampire started crying. My Draco, he moaned. <laughs> Author's note. Don't you think gay guys are, like, so hot? Hey, Kevin. Right. It's Kevin. It's okay, I tried to tell him, but that does that didn't stop him. He started to cry tears of blood. Then he had a brainstorm. I had an idea, he exclaimed. <laughs> which means Think. He, think. <laughs> think. Great blast! But, of course, he had an idea. He, you know, he lost. He doesn't currently. Habit. Well, you know, people have a, a really hard time remembering things, such as, yeah. wasn't Dumbledore there the first time he announced that he had him in bondage or had him bonded? Yeah. 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 I, I could have sworn. Uh, but he yeah. didn't say anything. Oh, no, well. Of course not. Well, because, you know, he doesn't like Draco. Yeah, that's good. Anyway. It's, oh, uh, where is What I asked. What, what I asked him. You'll see, he said. He took out his wand and did a spell. Then, suddenly, we were in Voldemort, or Voldemort. Per okay, it's kind of an O for Mort, it's a P, so oh. I don't know how to say that. Hold the perks. We ran Hold in with our wands out just as we heard it. Okay, you were already in his lair, so why would you run in with your wands out? You just have your wands out. As okay. we heard a croon voice say, a la cadavra, it was Voldemort. Woo! Chapter 14. Wee. Author note. Fuck off, Brett's okay. Raven, thanks for helping me, helping again. I'm sorry I couldn't update, but I was der, der Perez. And I had to go to the hospital because I slipped my wrist. My wrist. P.S. I'm not updating until you give me ten good revo- God re- I don't Rav- even know. Okay. Ravio. Wow. I, I, I'm guessing that none of the nurses or doctors or hotel staff that in, at all have read this because if they knew who you were, they would not have helped. <laughs> Warning. Warning. Some of this chapter is extremely scary. Scray. The hour excretion <laughs> advised. <laughs> advised. <laughs> we ran to where Voldemort Vol- was. It turned out that Vol- <laughs> Voldemort wasn't there. Well, yeah, it's Voldemort, not Voldemort. Yeah. Instead, the fat guy who killed Cedric was. Draco was there crying tears of blood. Snake Tail was torturing him. Vampire and I ran in front of Snake Tail. Rid my sight, you despicable preps, he shouted as we started shooting him with the gun. He then suddenly looked at me, and he that? fell down with a lovey-dovey look in his eyes. I'm the elephant with that sex with me, he said. In this, he is 16 years old, so he's not a pedophile, okay? Well, well, okay, okay. I thought they had their wands and not the guns. Huh? I asked Enneby, I love you, will you have sex with me? Asked Snake Tail. I started laughing crudely. What the fuck? You tortured my BF and then you expect me to fuck you? God, you are so fucked up, you fucking bastard! I uh, I said angrily. Oh, then I wow. stabbed him in the heart. Blood poured out of it like a found. Okay, now you're stabbing him. Okay, you have your wand, then you shot at him, and then you stabbed Stab him. Stab him. Right. What are you using? A gun blade? No, it's it's No, a, that actually it's a, wand. a redeemable feature. It's a wand that can turn into, like, anything. But, right. she, but she doesn't even have to say anything, it just does. What is this? I don't even. Well, she never said how big her breasts are. Yeah. They're probably huge because she's a Mary Sue. Yeah. All right. No! He screamed. He started screaming and running around. Then he fell down and died. I burst in. I burst into tears sadly. Okay, you're sad that you just killed a guy. Uh huh. Yeah. Oh, I like this next line. Snake tail, what art thou doing? Called Voldemort. (laughs) Dying. He started coming. We could hear his high heels (laughs) clacking to us. So we got (gasps) on our broomsticks and we flew to Hogwarts. We went to my room. Vampire went away. There I started crying. Since when does Voldemort wear high heels? Last time I saw he went barefoot. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Snake tail, what are you doing? Dying. Just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. It gets so much better. Uh-huh. What's wrong, honey? Asked Draco, taking off his clothes so we could screw. He had a sex pack, get it? Because he's so sexy. And a really huge oh you-know-what and everything. It's so unfair, I yielded. Why can't I just be ugly or plain like all the other girls? 
and preps here, except for Bloody Mary, because she's not ugly or anything. Oh no. Oh, oh my, my word. Uh, hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Why would you want to be ugly? I don't like the preps anyway, they're such fucking sluts, answered Draco. Yeah, but everyone is in love with me, like Snape and Lupin took a video of me naked. Hargrid says he's in love with me. Vampire likes me, and now even Snake Tail is in love with me. He I just want to be with you, okay, Draco? Why couldn't Satan make me less beautiful? I shouted angrily. Author's note. Don't worry. Enemy isn't a snob or anything, but a lot of people have told her she's pretty. You know, because we've actually been witness to she this, so we know. She is a snob. Her friends are always asking her, are you okay? And For she's crying like, out loud, right? I'm happy you think I am. I'm good she's at too snob. many things. Why can't I just be normal? It's a fucking curse, I shouted, and then I ran away. Please, just the, stay there. The definition of a Mary Sue. Everybody loves me. I just want to be normal. I'm too awesome. Why? Why was I cursed with being this awesome? I know, right? Chapter 15. Final chapter for this video. Author's note. Stop flaming, okay? BTW, you suck from no on every time. Every time someone slammed me, I'm, I'm gonna split my wrist. Thanks to Raven for what? Okay, um, <laughs> yes, I guess so. Obviously, the flamers didn't do their jobs right. Mm -hmm. Or else she would be done. Oh, look, there's a 666 six, six in the middle of the extras. Yeah, it's I for a just while. realized yeah, I, I that. For a while. I noticed that. It's for anyone like who doesn't it. know what we're looking at, um, the author's note is separated from the actual, like, chapter by a row of X's, but in the middle there's, like, three sixes, you know? Six, six. You just have to be reminded over and, over and over and over and over again that she is the same to me. And I just realized this because, you know, I'm slow. Ebony, Ebony, shouted Draco sadly. No, please come back. But I was too mad. Whatever, now you can go ahead and have sex with a vampire, I shouted. I stormed into my room and closed my black door with my blood red key. Okay, you were already in your room? Yeah. It had a picture of Marilyn Manson on it. He looked so sexy in a way that reminded me of Draco and Bam. Okay, who thinks Marilyn Manson is sexy? Look mm -hmm. at him. It's creepy. Very. Okay, so did she have a picture of Marilyn Manson on the key or on the, the door? door? Who knows? It's probably door. both. Yeah, probably. I started to cry and weep. I took a razor and started to split my wrists. I drank the blood all depressed. And then I er, then I looked at my black GC, again, good Charlotte, we're assuming, watch, and noticed it was time to go to biology class. I can split my wrists more if this happens. Yeah, this is a um, magic school. They don't have biology. <laughs> yeah. I put on a short, ripped, black gothic dress that said anarchy on the front in blood red letters, and it was all ripped and a spiky belt. Under that, I put on r ripped black fishnets and boots that said Joel all over them with blood red letters. I put my ebony black hair out. How'd so you put it out? Like, did I you have put it on fire and you put it out? What, what, was it barking too much and you know, just tossed it outside to run around in the yard? <laughs> anyway, I went downstairs feeling all sad and depressed as usual. I did some advanced biology work, because it so exists at Hogwarts. Mm. I was turning a bloody pentagram into a black guitar. Suddenly, the guitar turned to Draco. Enemy, I love you, he shouted sadly. I do not care what those fucker props and posers think. You're the most beautiful girl in the world. Before I met you, I used to want to commit suicide all the time. Now I just want to fucking be with you. I fucking love you. <laughs> then, yeah. oh. dot, dot, he started dot, to sing dot. The Chronicles of Life and Death. We considered it our song now, because we fell in love while, when Joel was singing it. Right in front of the entire class. His singing voice was so amazing and gothic and sexy, like a cross between Gerard, Joel, Chester, Pierre, and Marilyn Manson, because we know who che Chester and Pierre are. Yeah. <laughs> Author's note, don't you think those guys are so hot? If you don't, er, if you do not know who they are, get the fuck out of it. You okay. don't know who two of them <laughs> are, sorry. so I guess you... Um. No, come back, come back! <laughs> OMFG, I said after he was finished. Some fucking prep stared at us, but I just stuck up my middle fingers that were covered in black nail polish, and we're in twine with Draco's now. So they're, like, Had covered them. from, like, okay. here to okay. here in okay. black nail polish? So it was, like, entwined? How? Hey. Uh, I love you, I said, and then we started to kiss just like Hillary Duff. I fucking hate that bitch. And CMM in a Cinderella story. Okay. Chad Huckleberry. If you're gothic, why are you watching a Cinderella story? Yeah, seriously. Why do you want to compare yourself to it? Seriously, yeah. you, I, I thought you hate, I mean, you say you hate yeah, her, you hate yet her. you're referencing and her kiss. H-A-H-8. There there's probably an infinite number of kisses that are way more passionate than Hilary Duff's ever kissed on screen. Oh, yeah, seriously. For real. 
Then we went away holding hands. Lupin shouted at us, but he stopped because everyone was clapping by how sexy we looked together. <laughs> then I saw a poster saying that MCR would have a concert in Hogsmeade oh. right then. We looked at each other all shocked, and then we went together. Done. Done. Because, you know, Done. concerts just happen completely impromptu when it's a major band like My Chemical Romance. Of course. Wow. Well, I'm, I'm not exactly sure what to say. I mean... She is getting worse as it goes. I mean, yeah. you know, <laughs> what what we're reading, just the actual story, start, some of the spelling starts to get horrid and everything, instead of it just being in the author's comments or her little, like, you know, parentheses of, ooh, Well, that was the end of chapter 15. Mm -hmm. um, for any of you, those who don't actually know, you know, how long My Immortal is, it's, uh... 44 chapters of fun. 44 chapters long. So, mm -hmm. um... <laughs> The chapters are, as you can see, pretty short, but, you know. Yeah. Chapters. So stay tuned, because uh, we're going to be reading and commenting on the entire thing. 